So it was in the uh, early uh, 70s, about 1970, when that was the big push when the coal companies came in and there were uh, big plans to open up strip mines, mine mouth power plants, and they were pretty used to getting their way. They were pretty used to just being able to uh, intimidate their way in. And what their story was is, well, like your neighbors have already all sold out and, uh, y you know, you can either sell out and take, take the price or, you know, we got the power to kind of come in and, and uh, take it. And, of course, my dad was pretty ornery, and, but he was just thinking about it. he didn't like people kind of coming in and trying to roll, roll him over. My folks kind of smelled a rat and they did start talking to uh, to uh, their neighbors and found out that, you know, no, they, people hadn't sold out. They didn't like, you know, they didn't want to sell out. And the coal company basically offered him a blank check for whatever he wanted for his place. And he said, well, you know, I know you uh, company has a lot of money, but you're just four dollars and 64 cents short of having enough to buy me out. And that's become the kind of cornerstone of Northern Plains is that you can't put a monetary value on your air, your water, and your land because there's nothing else that's going to sustain us. And, you know, if you're going to be doing long-term damage to that, there, there's got to be certain things that just don't, don't have a dollar value on it. And that's the philosophy that guides a lot of uh, the work Northern Plains does. So since uh, people like my folks started Northern Plains and, and the way it did start was all these different ranchers groups got together and uh, figured they, they're, more, they're stronger together. And then we uh, recruited and tied in uh, townspeople who had that same uh, value of taking care of the land. And over those 40 years, the voice of Northern Plains has been really critical and really strong. We, we need to keep that tradition going. And we have a professional staff, it takes dollars to make that work. We participate in lawsuits. We're active in the legislature. Um, there, there's just a host of things we do and it all takes money. We believe in this cause. And one way to show that is to dig in your pocket and, and give generously. And this is the end of the year and it's kind of a good time to think about that. So um, I would really appreciate uh, all the financial support that uh, you can comfortably give at this time.